Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video. I should have put out a video hours ago but I've been doing some system upgrades for the whole morning. And we're in the afternoon now actually. So yeah, my computer should be running at a very nice speed right now. It's long overdue. I've actually updated um, to the new software on Mac as well, which I haven't done, all, done for a while. I normally don't because it... Uh, slows down my computer sometimes I feel but decided to go ahead and do that today because it's giving me some issues when I'm trying to load up certain websites and stuff like that coin market cap and stuff it's just slowing me down so I've done that now and hopefully everything is moving at a nice speed but let's get into the video okay I'm going to start off with player all right guys and um, we talked about player yesterday we seen this massive candle to the upside all right it's just a one minute wick all the way up and all the way down we can see the same thing happen again only a few hours later 4 8 12 six, about 16 hours later we had the same thing all right guys now this is very illiquid all right um you can find it you can see within one minute these things are happening okay so there's nothing to be excited about all right guys if you're trading this this on bitmart at the moment very liquid all right and uh, these are some of the results of it all right guys so if you did have sell orders up there it's quite possible that some of them could have got filled i wouldn't expect it to be much though because this will be taken out um buy orders all the way up unless it's a uh, sorry sell orders all the way up unless it's just a bitmark glitch all right but when people do market buy this you know it can kind of cause that thing to happen probably get a better picture of what's going on with player if you go on the ocean x chart okay more liquidity and uh, a little bit more stable all right guys so as you can see player has got i haven't looked at this for a while by the way but i decided to check it and we can see that it has come up and just almost touched that resistance line up there and now it could be either putting in a continuation but it looks a little bit more like a trip to the downside all right guys well don't quote me on that all right we'll have to wait and see how that plays out but that's just a quick update for the player guys i know some of the moon boys whenever i do a video on player the player life moon boys don't really like it and i get some bad comments um in my on my, on my videos all right guys but um yeah that's just the way it goes you know this is just my honest opinion of the market, all right, guys. Now I'm not always right at the end of the day. Over here would have been a good, to, uh, good time to be buying player, all right. You would have been up about 100, percent okay, if you sold the top about 110, percent all right, guys. But yeah, I was buying player down here. I was taking profits up there, all right. So yeah, I've kind of left this one on the back burner for a bit, but um, yeah, it's still one for many, but just not one for me at the moment. Uh, my mind can be changed, all right, but we'd have to wait and see uh, what news is coming out on player in the future. Okay, we're going to talk a bit, little bit about SXP Swipe. Okay, Swipe is managing to pick up some, you know, some speed. All right, guys, we've got that bounce off here, and will we break back through this level and take these levels out? Uh, it's highly probable for Swipe. Because of the news, all right, we're still waiting for the banking partner announcements. Uh, they've got the, the break, for the breaking into the US. And uh, yeah, Swipe is definitely one that a lot of people are looking at. I guess there's a lot of holders in Swipe right now. You've got the Swipe wallet. It had a few upgrades yesterday and it was offline. But that, I believe, is now all back up and running. Okay, and I believe you can, you can send your, you can send, you can do transfers from Binance to your swipe wallet for free, I think. And I think it's instant as well. So you're not gonna be waiting around for your transfers to take place. So that's good. If you do wanna take your your swipe off the exchange and put it in the wallet, it's quite good to be able to do that fast and efficiently and free, all right? Because you'll also be able to um, send it back to the exchange if you wanna sell uh, very quickly, all right, guys? Nothing worse than when you're trying to get out of a get out of a position and you send it from a cold wallet over to an exchange and you're waiting for ages. All right, guys, because you know these are volatile markets and the price the price um, the price changes 
the price can change very quickly all right so yeah that's definitely a good uh, a good thing for swipe i just need to actually just clarify that it's actually free all right because i don't want to i don't want to misinform you all right near instant deposits okay it doesn't say it's for free all right but it does say that there's instant deposits and withdrawals wallet app users can enjoy near instant deposits and withdrawals to or from their Binance account for all supported assets, including BTC, BNB, and SXP. So it's not just swipe, actually. It's a few of them, all right? I should have read that properly before I said anything, but I'll definitely put a picture of that up on the screen for you guys so you can see that for yourself. So that is actually quite a good thing, all right, guys? And yeah, so that's that. I wanted to look quickly at Nimic, okay? Now, Nimic has got a bounce, all right? I did tell you about buying Nimic over here, all right? So if you did buy that, well done, because you would be up roughly around 20 to 30% at the moment. Now, Nimic has had a big retracement, okay? Very big retracement from the top, all right, guys? In fact, if it did go back to the top from where it is now, you would be up around 200%. Um, if it just goes back to his previous high all right and also this could be just gearing up for a second wave or a third wave to the upside all right but uh that's a bit far-fetched we'll have to wait and see whether that can happen the rsi is very uh oversold at the moment um very oversold on the four hour chart at the moment okay let's have a look at that all right, there is still room for it to go up, okay, but that would mean it would need to also break this uh, resistance level, okay? Let's just enlarge on that, okay? We need to break through this resistance level on Nimic. Well, the fact that the RSI has got a little bit further to go up before it uh, could come down, uh, I would assume that it will probably hit this uh, resistance level and get rejected. And then we'll have to wait and see whether it can come back for a retest and break through that level and begin to gain some good ground within this range. All right. Obviously, you've got a bullish MACD cross, okay, which is a little bit overextended at the moment as well. And the momentum is a bit overextended, so that could just curve back around and come back down. All right, guys. But Nimic is not one to sleep on. Definitely a great long-term hold. Okay. And if you look on the one day, it is kind of going to meet this 30 day moving average, all right? And that could just get rejected. It's right on the resistance line, okay? So that could just get rejected. Um, although on the one day, there is a bullish MACD cross. So if we can see some volume coming in now, right? And the RSI has got quite a way to go up. If we do get a break, I think that this could be um, the beginning of the next move for Nimic. If it does get rejected, it could potentially come a bit further down. We've seen the Fibonacci's, uh, we've drawn a Fibonacci retracement, which we've shown you in previous video, and down here in this range is actually a good buy zone if it can come back down there for, for a long-term hold. And if it does break this level, it probably be, your buy zone will be within this range for a long-term hold. All right, guys. So yeah, obviously uh, Bitcoin, is just doing its thing you know um, and some of these uh, so some of these uh, some of this analysis is can be based on what what Bitcoin does all right if Bitcoin decides to dump all the way down it's going to drag these coins down with it all right but if you do see coins that are going up as that's going down that's probably a good signal that those are the coins to be in as well all right guys so yeah definitely keep an eye on that okay um, we need to find some more low cap gems guys keep them coming let me know in the comments what you think. There's been a few that have been mentioned, like Reserve Rights or Trust Swap, um, DIA or whatever. You know, a few ones that have been mentioned. Um, but yeah, I kind of need to knuckle down and uh, find some of these gems. All right, guys, because I've been very, extremely busy, especially since starting the YouTube channel. Been extremely busy. I'm trying to juggle family with work. I've got a day job. I'm a personal advisor in my day job, right? I've got work, I've got family, I've got the YouTube, and it does take quite a little while to sort these videos videos out sometimes. I've also got my trades that I need to prepare 
and kind of figure out what I'm going to do for the day. I've also got, I've got several things going on, guys. All right. A little bit of good news, though. I did get a little bit of a tax rebate today. Or oh, I haven't had the rebate, but I got a letter saying that the HMRC owes me some tax. So that's always good news. The subscribers are growing. I definitely appreciate that. But if you're not subscribed to the channel already, might as well go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. Tick the little bell for notifications. That way you'll get my videos as soon as they come on. All right. And leave a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you again in the next video.